What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Coach Vic. Today is January 25th, 2023. If this is your birthday, happy birthday. I don't know anybody with the birthday of this day, but today is a special day. So we're doing something a little bit different. I am asking you for your assistance. You see, every Wednesday I come on here, I go blah, 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 yakety schmackety, and hopefully you guys get some value out of it. Well, I'm not necessarily sure what I talk about or how I present this information. It's actually the best way to present it. Maybe not um, in actual like delivery, but more like, what do you guys want from me? So what I'm going to do first is talk a little bit about some of the issues I see around land investing and real estate investing on this level in general. Some of the things that I can probably talk about in great detail, and then different ideas of how I can present that information. But ultimately, I'm looking for what you guys have to say. Like, in general, I would love it for if I didn't give any background, I just say, hey, tell me what you guys want. And you guys already know. And you just tell me because I do not want my ideas to influence you know, your answers. But sometimes you need someone like me to kind of let you know what I'm able to do. And I can kind of get the creative, the creative juices flowing and all that good stuff. So with that said, I just want to make sure you guys can hear me, see me okay. I mean, that would suck if you guys couldn't hear or see me after I said all that. And, you know, but it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So here's the thing. In land investing today, there are several problems, not big problems, but they're mostly problems for new people. And this is just how I see it. I could be completely wrong. And if I am wrong, let me know in the comments. Let me know, um, you know, just say some, you know, throw your tomatoes at me. I don't, I don't care. I'm just going to say what I see from my perspective. And the biggest thing I see is newbies getting incomplete information. And what does incomplete information do to a new person getting into land investing? Well, it causes them to overpay for a property. It causes them to invest in areas that are highly saturated. It causes them to get properties that are not very desirable. Sure, all land sells and it will eventually sell, but nobody wants to have a property for eight months before they get their first sale, right? My goal as a land investing coach uh, is to get a property, get someone a property in four weeks or less, get and buy and sell. It's pretty easy to buy if you follow my methods. Selling can be a little bit more difficult um, if you're not following what I do and you know, selling is a little bit of an art. But in general, um, four weeks is my goal. Um, I have one student that was able to do that. Another one did five. So, you know, it's cool. But usually people take longer, not because of the method. It's because they kind of not giving their all. But that's a different story. Anyways, so this incomplete information that I see is just, hey, just mail a bunch and, you know, pick a county, mail a bunch. And next thing you know, you have a deal. And yeah, in a nutshell, that's kind of how it works in a nutshell. Like I'm not saying don't mail. Mailing still works great. I know I do a lot of text messaging. Um, I, I send out emails as well, but I do a lot of mail. And, you know, as you can see, maybe you can't yet, but, I, you know, I just did a big mailer and another batch of postcards that came back, you know, return to sender. Now, when you have incomplete information and you're just told to just mail more and you get a bunch of these back. The only thing you're thinking is like, oh, my God, how much money did I spend on these damn postcards for them just to get sent back because the addresses are wrong? Right. It's tough. What do I do with these bad addresses? Like, does this mean that the list was bad? Does this mean that I'm, I'm doing it wrong? Is there something I could have fixed before? There's a lot of things that can go on in someone who's new in their mind. And the most important thing that I see is that when they see this doubt, this fear, this uncertainty, uh, FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt, they quit. They quit. I see that happen a lot. Um, you see a lot of people quit from other forms of real estate, other forms of make money online or whatever, you know, like, you know, they were wholesalers before and now they're trying to do this, or they used to doing cryptocurrency and, you know, whatever. I don't want you guys to quit. All right. So with that said, incomplete information, you know, especially for newbies is a big deal. Now, what else do I see in the land investing, like, community, so to speak. Well, I see that cash buyers are starting to kind of dry up a little bit. Not, I'm not going to say dry up. That's the wrong word to use. There's just less of them than there were previously. you know. And I've been in this business for seven years now, just about seven years. And I've seen these ebbs and flows, right? I've seen this ups and downs, right? And 
there are times where you can think that, hey, I'm on top of the world. I got this figured out. I know what I'm doing. And then, you know, the economy hits and then there's less cash buyers out there. So now you're like, oh, and you start freaking out, right? Um, or you're like, how do I pivot? How do I make an adjustment? What do I do with the property I have on hand, right? Some of you guys are saying, oh, just do a terms deal. And yeah, but what if you need cash now? And the down payment and the monthly payments you need or you're going to get from this terms deal is not enough to help you to continue to invest in property or hell, just to pay your pay your rent, pay, buy, your, buy food um, or rent mortgage, uh, food, electricity, all that other stuff that you need to live every day. What do you do, right? Sure, just, you can buy, you can sell notes, you can do a lot of different things, but there's different options depending on what that is, right? So the lack of cash buyers can hurt people, not because you can't sell the property, it's just that you may not get the in, like recoup your investment fast enough for it to be a viable um, investing strategy that you can use as a full time profession. I mean, not that you can't. It's just for the new person, it's hard to understand that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, due diligence. I see a lot of people struggle with this understanding of due diligence. They just hey, a title company, you handle it. Sure, if your property you know is worth fifty hundred thousand dollars, title company is a no brainer. If it's worth if you're buying it for 10 to 12, still pretty, pretty good idea to use title title insurance. Um, not you don't have to, and I often don't, but I can understand why if somebody would at that price range, because you should be selling for 25, 30, 35. And you know, for that price range, you definitely don't want to have any hiccups if you mess up your due diligence. But that's the thing. A lot of people don't know how to do due diligence properly. Do due diligence, do due diligence, do do. Ah, I'm I'm 12 years old. But when you understand this properly, then not only do you prevent yourself from making costly mistakes, but you can also make sure that you get a better price on the property that you are buying. And then when you sell, you have more information to give that, that buyer. So that way, you know, they're not like, hey, I didn't know about this issue or that issue. Why didn't you tell them? Like, well, I didn't know either. Well, you own the property. You should have known, right? You don't want to deal with that. So with that said, when you're looking at all these different problems, I want to help you guys solve these problems. Now, there's two, uh, there's two, I have two minds about this. One, I only go live once a week and I'm not going to do more than that. Why? Because I just don't have the time. I have my own land investing business to do. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, but if you follow me on my personal Facebook page or my Instagram page or on my TikTok, I kind of stopped. I mean, I restarted again, but there's a period where I kind of stopped making videos you know, quick little one minute bites, things like that here and there, because I was so busy working on the deals I got on the plate, right? These are deals that are big. They're going to take a lot more work on my part, um, getting funding together, calling the county, looking at roads or things like that. And it's harder for me to dedicate more time to give you all free information. I do enjoy what I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. But when I see all those dollars floating off in the air, because I'm not working on a particular deal, sometimes it does make it tough. So I can't do more than one live stream a week. With that said, maybe you guys don't give a damn about live streams. Maybe I can just do a recorded video, do a bunch of them, stack them up, and just release them once a week as if it was a live stream. Maybe I don't need to do any videos and you guys like long form posts. Maybe you want, um, instead of a live stream once a week, Maybe once a month, I actually do a what I did once before. I think I might have done it twice, where I kind of walk people through their like building their first list, right? So a, little, a bit of a crash course, um, similar to what I give you guys when you join a group and you give me your email address. And if you haven't given me your email address, go ahead and give it to me. Just DM me. Um, the training was an hour and a half, so maybe walk people through that. And instead of condensing everything into an hour and a half, you know, stretch it out for a couple of days and each day we're working for a couple of hours so that way together we're putting you know our list together we start the contact process things like that so there's different options that we can do now what other options are there that's where i need your help first off from the options that i've given you guys so um continue to do the live streams or maybe they don't have to be live just do a recorded video and just put them up uh, the benefits of a recorded video, I guess, is, you know, I can polish them a little bit, maybe add some graphics and stuff like that. The likelihood of me doing that is slim because, as I said, I'm very busy, but that's a possibility. And then there's the, the crash course where I work with you guys 
uh, in a group setting. You know, we jump on Zoom um, once a month, once a quarter, whatever it, it turns out to be. And I walk you guys through putting that first list together, finding an area, getting your budget right, putting that first list together, and then go on and on and on from there, right? If you have any other, oh, and I also said long form posts and things like that in the Facebook group. If you have any other ideas of how I can deliver value, especially on the thing that I talked about were issues, let me know. Um, I'm not saying I'll do your idea, but I'm looking for all the ideas I can take so that way I can put the best package together for you. Because doing a live stream and having people like it but not really give a damn or like it and not actually implement what I'm talking about, it's a waste of everybody's time. So why do that if people aren't going to put that work into practice? But if there's a different way out there that I can help you guys put that work into practice, I am all ears. Now, again, it has to be worth my while because I do have a coaching group. Now, that coaching group, it, it works, I guess, hand in hand with my actual land investing and the fact that it just keeps me accountable. It keeps me looking at for the, on the cutting edge of how to get deals and different ways to view things and how to learn from other land investors who do things differently than I do and what can I take and and that's going to incorporate and how I can teach it to the, the people who actually pay me a lot of money to help them make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, right? I can't, no, I'm not going to say I can't. I won't do more for the free Facebook group than I would for people who are paying me a lot of money to teach them this skill, right? So we have to keep that in account too. Now, obviously, if, if possible, I'm only one man, but if I was able to clone myself, I would love for everybody to join my group. I do feel the way I handle that group, there's no better way to learn land. You have a curriculum that is laid out step-by-step step and very extensive and thorough. You have a community of other land investors who are really doing it, not pretending, not looking into it, not, no, they're doing it. And we're, we're critiquing deals. We're helping each other fund deals. We are, you know, asking questions about different uh, things. Like we just had a thing, a, a long discussion in a group about wetlands and like, what do you do about that? Uh, how do you handle those and all that, right? Certain information I may not have because I never had to deal with it, but other group members have. So they can share that. And the room is always smarter than an individual. Um, and obviously you get my direct one-on-one -on -one coaching where I can, that's why I said I would need to clone myself where I, you know, I understand where you are. I check everything that you do. I make sure that you're getting things done. No excuses here. We're about, we're about that money. We ain't, we ain't here to make excuses. We're here to make that money. So as I said, like my coaching group, I do believe that mentorship program is the best one out there. I think it's the best way to learn land if you're serious about it. Um, I, get, I, I leave it to your own devices for a while, but at the same time, I'm on that ass too to make sure you're getting stuff done and you're making progress to, towards the goals that we discussed. Uh, but I understand it's not feasible for everybody. Some people just, they're not ready to invest uh, in themselves at that level because it's not cheap. I understand some people just don't have the time to dedicate to learning a whole new skill, a high income skill like that. So that's just why I'm asking you guys, what do you guys need from me? How can I make this better for you? What ways should I deliver the information? Again, live streams, maybe, maybe not. Recorded video, long form post, a crash course I do every so often um, where I can, you know, so I won't do the live streams every week, but then the crash course I do, um, I, I don't know. There's a lot of different things. You know, maybe, again, maybe there's something I'm not thinking about. Hell, if you guys live in San Francisco and you want to meet in person, maybe that's the best way to do it. I don't know, but I'm looking for, from you guys. Also, what other issues that I didn't mention that you guys would like me to cover? For example, um, looking at the group right now, I saw, um, who, who was this? John Lee. He says it's a lot of the usual stuff that people are looking for, the evaluation of land, where to find deals, how to work with potential sellers, and perhaps... Perhaps one thing I, uh, I, uh, I like one of you gurus to talk about is how the market may be saturated. I do the usual mailings. And when I talk to people, they say they've gotten a bunch of letters already. So what can you do to stand out? Do you have the same questions and concerns as John Lee does? I understand if you do have those questions and concerns, because we do talk about that in the coaching group. Um, and honestly, like with my methods, these some of these a lot of these things go away right because again i can directly help you but again if, if you can't get in that group you know i can't just answer people one by one you know with this larger group i want to make sure i'm effective for you guys so again i'm asking your help 
please let me know how I can serve you guys, right? Obviously, joining my coaching mentorship program will be the best way for me to serve you because I can get to know you directly, know your goals, and then we can make a customized game plan for you. And if you want to know about more about that, um, I'll give you a link so you can book some time and we can talk about it. But if you're not there yet or you don't want to get coached or you don't have the time or you, just, you, can, you don't have the, the capital needed to, to jump into to something that extensive, then, you know, what can I do? What can I do to help you guys? All right. I just don't want to sit here and lecture to you if it's not the best way to give you guys the game that you guys need. That's what I'm looking for, to give you guys the game. So, you, again, you can take it and implement it, not just listen to me or whatever. All right. So this is a short one. Uh, I gave my a little bit of, of my opinion about what's going to happen, you know, where a lot of people are struggling with um, different things that we couldn't talk about, different ideas of how I can present that information. But I'm definitely looking to hear, looking forward to hearing from you and how I can serve you guys. And at the end of the day, if the free stuff ain't working for you, because it doesn't work for a lot of people, because there's just too many holes in your in the knowledge, you know, one topic is this and another topic is that. And then, you know, I try to piece everything together and it's very tough. I do highly recommend my coaching program because I have no questions how to deliver that. I'm, I'm very successful in that. I'm very good at giving people my attention in my group. Um, it's the people outside the group that I'm still trying to help. But again, I need to know the best way. All right. So we'll keep it short for this one. Uh, answer me below, please. Please, please, please. Do not just like the video and keep it moving. I'm looking to help you guys. So if I don't hear anything, gee, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep doing live streams. Maybe I'll stop doing it all together. I, I don't know. But I just want to make sure I do the, what I can to help you guys. And if you guys don't need anything from me, that's cool too. We can just keep the group alive. Let you guys chat and mingle. I'll just moderate. Make sure people aren't getting crazy. And those weird wholesale deals that people keep popping up with or you know, random um, people spamming their business offer. I'll just do that. And maybe we don't need any live stream because I've talked about so many things for the last couple of years. Maybe just, you know, organize that content. I don't know. I don't know. So whatever you think is necessary and how you want me to deliver it, let me know. But other than that, Coach Vic, signing off. I appreciate all you guys. Peace.